Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna be doing a quick video to walk you through a couple different shortcuts you can add to your Garmin Instinct watch that make it quicker for you to connect or disconnect your cell phone. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got, solar or non-solar, this video should work the same for everybody. The other thing I'll mention is I've done videos in the past that walk you through how to connect your phone, how to disconnect your phone. In this video, I'm gonna be going through it fairly quick. All I'm doing is showing you some shortcuts that make it a little bit quicker to do that process. So why would somebody wanna disconnect their phone? You know the Garmin Instinct is a smartwatch, which means it connects to your cell phone and it pulls in various information from your cell phone. But maybe you're somebody like me who doesn't really use those functions. I don't really care so much about the notifications from my phone. I don't really care about knowing that somebody emailed me or text messaged me. I can choose which ones of those things I want to uh, get coming to my watch, or I could just disconnect my cell phone completely. The main benefit to disconnecting it is battery life. If you look right here, I've got 42 days of estimated battery life. Let's go through the long way and let's disconnect our cell phone and see what happens to my battery life. So I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. I'm gonna arrow down to settings. I'm gonna press GPS to select settings. I'm gonna arrow down to phone. I'm gonna press GPS to select phone and I'm going to disconnect my cell phone. Now, my watch is basically a regular watch. It's not really a smart watch at this point because I'm not connected to a cell phone, which means I can't get any information from my cell phone. You'll notice that my battery life, though, has gone up to 46 days. So I gained four days of battery life just by disconnecting my cell phone. Well, what if now all of a sudden I wanna get some notifications? I have to go through those same steps to reconnect my phone, or I can add some quick steps that help me do that quicker versus going through the settings menu. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So first, let me say, don't, don't confuse this with using Do Not Disturb. I've also done a video on Do Not Disturb in the past. Do Not Disturb keeps your phone connected to your watch, but it just turns off alerts and your light uh, vibration, stuff like that. Do Not Disturb is what you would use if you're in church. Maybe you're watching a movie. You wanna stay connected to your phone. You just don't wanna be getting any notifications. Um, that's Do Not Disturb. This is disconnecting your phone completely. So. What are some quick steps we can do to do that? The first thing you can do is you can add it to your control menu. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna press and hold the menu button. We're gonna arrow down to settings. We're gonna press GPS to select settings. We're gonna arrow down to controls, press GPS to select controls. And then you're gonna arrow down to add new. Now you might already see it in there. In my case, I don't have it added. And we are going to choose phone. I'm gonna press GPS to select phone. I've added it to my control menu. Now we can go to my control menu by pressing and holding the control button. And you'll notice I've got an icon in here. My connection is disabled because we just disconnected my phone a minute ago. I can simply press the GPS button and all of a sudden I've connected my phone. That's a whole lot quicker than going through menu, settings, phone, connection. So that's one way you can do this quickly. I'm gonna go back. The other way you can do it is you can set it up as a hotkey. So I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. I'm gonna go down to settings, press GPS to select settings. Again, I'm gonna use the up or down button. I'm gonna go to system, press GPS to select system. I'm gonna use the up or down button to go to hotkeys. I'll press GPS to select hotkeys. Now I always recommending not changing a hotkey that you regularly use. I'm gonna go down to the bottom of my list, find one that's not in use back and light is off. I'm gonna press GPS to select that one. And again, I'm gonna go down and choose phone. So now we've successfully created a hotkey to connect or disconnect our phone by pressing and holding the back and light button at the same time. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna go back to the main screen. So now if I wanna connect or disconnect my phone, you know that I'm connected now, I can press the back and light button and it takes me straight into that setting and I can simply disconnect it. So those are a couple of different options. Most people probably don't care too much about this, but if you're somebody like me that's constantly disconnecting or connecting your phone, it's a pretty nice feature to have just so you don't have to go through the long way through the menu and settings. I'm the type, I only keep my phone connected if I'm planning on getting those notifications. I need that information. If I don't need that information, I disconnect my phone. This is a couple uh, tricks or quick ways to be able to do that. As always, I hope the video helps and makes sense. If you got any questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.